Hey guys, my name is Justin Odisho and in this video, I'm going to show you how to clone yourself. It's pretty simple and if you understand how to do this, then you'll understand how layers work in Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So before we begin in Premiere Pro, it's very important to note a few things in camera. You'll notice that this type of shot is almost always done with a tripod shot. That way the background is still and stable and you want to shoot in manual mode. That way you can control the white balance, the exposure, the ISO everything so it's not changing if a cloud passes over the sun and your whole shot will become out of balance and difficult to blend. So now when I'm recording you notice that the camera's on a tripod so everything in the background is staying still. Nothing's really changing behind me. It's almost just like a green screen picture. So when I'm standing here I can say something like, hey guys my name is Justin Odisho. So notice how I stood here for extra time because I know I'm going to need that to combine the two shots. Now I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to enter the room, but I'm going to stand in a separate position so that there will be a clear line that these two don't interact with. Now I can say whatever I want, like, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and follow me on social media. So let's get into it. So getting into Premiere Pro, let's drag our clip on and you'll see that we just have one long clip and it's just one me the whole time. Either I'm there or I'm there. So what we want to do is cut out these sections and place them on top of each other using the different layers in Premiere Pro. So I have this first section where I'm introducing, you know, hi, my name's Justin, whatever you saw in the beginning. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the second section that I want, so I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna cut this section out. And then I can click V and move this arrow up. I also wanna keep the audio, but I don't want them to replace each other, so I'll move that down. And then I'll take these and I'll sandwich them right over our original track. So you can see there's a pause here where I stop talking in the first half and then it picks up talking here. So I want to blend these two tracks together. So there's a few ways that you can actually do this. One is you can go to the effects window, you can find the crop effect and click and drag that onto your top clip. Now you just wanna crop out whatever half you're not using. So you can see in this clip, we're not using the left half. So I'll go over to the effects control panel and I'll crop in from the left side until we get that line that shows both of me. But you can see there's still a little bit of shadow change because either I was casting a shadow or the lighting in the room slightly changed from the seconds that I walked over to each side. But that's okay, we can typically just blend this with the edge feather tool. So if I increase the edge feather, you see that it creates a blended line and it becomes really difficult to distinguish where that line is if you blend it correctly and enough. Now when I play and the timeline goes over this part, the second me will just pop into frame, and if you were using doors, you could make it more seamless. If you were entering from outside the frame, it would look more natural rather than just appearing out of thin air like this, but you can play around with it and get creative. Like You can create sound effects that'll make you magically pop in if that's the look you're going for. And this results in both of me being on screen. And since when I was shooting, I took the time in my head to wait and stand still and kind of let my clone imaginary self that I knew was going to be talking finish whatever I was saying, even nod my head in agreement. And then I pick up talking and let the other clone stand still. So if you plan to have some sort of dialogue, you're going to want to time it out and give each clone enough time to talk while not moving out of your position. Also, if you don't want to use the crop tool or actually if you can't use the crop tool for some other reason, you can always use the opacity masking features. So you can create a four point polygon mask or a pen tool and then you can actually go to the program window and just move this mask to only include your clone self and this is another way that you can get a little bit more accurate even. However, the same issues might happen, you might see that a little bit of line, which you can use the mask feather options to feather out, and then you have the same idea. Also, this is just an example with two of me, but if you considered and planned it out properly, you could clone yourself as many times as your frame allowed. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it below and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.